call for one thing and one thing only, comfort food. And boy, do we have just a dish for you today. Oh my goodness, you of course <laughs> recognize executive chef Stephanie Wampole of Milton. She was here last week making those mouth-watering peaches and sweet cream crepes. Like it's oh my goodness. Taste. Oh, I was so good. talking about those all weekend. <sighs> <laughs> well, good. Yeah. good. They're not so too bad. So after that, we of course had to ask her back again. We wanted to hurry up and get it done. So we are so glad that she accepted our invitation today. Thank you. What are we doing? So squash, you can find it everywhere now um, with pumpkins and butternut squash and acorn squash. Right. So I wanted to do something that you can, not everybody knows that you can use like pretty much every squash you see. Uh -huh. A lot of people think it's just decoration. decoration right. yeah. So um, today we're going to do a stuffed acorn squash and yeah, it's, it's really, Ooh. really, really good. <laughs> well, it sounds like so. we need to get to work. So what are we doing here? So um, acorn squash, do they usually look green in the store? But if you get the orange ones, um, I actually went to Little Wagon Produce, which is a local uh, farm in Greenwood. Mm -hmm. and she told me the orange ones are the best. Okay. So you can also use butternut squash and then these other squash here, you know, just like I said, you can use pretty much any squash you can find. Right. So you're going to cut it in half and scoop out the guts. We're going to have you do that. Am I a gut scooper today? You are a gut <laughs> scooper I'm today. I'm so happy about that. So okay. you roast them first and then you fill them because that way um, they take about 30 minutes to roast depending mm -hmm. on how big they are. Do you so, put them, just put them on a pan in the yep, oven? Yep, we're going to have them um, sprinkle with olive oil, salt, and pepper. We have a pan. We're going to have them pop them in the oven, and then yeah. I'll show you what kind of... So in the while he's doing that, we have in the pan here the filling. So you get apples, uh, whichever apple you like, mm -hmm. um, and there's walnuts, brown sugar, and butter. But when you pick your apples, make sure you pick something that has um, a th like a thicker flesh because you don't want it to melt away. Gotcha. So these are uh, golden delicious apples. Golden delicious apples. So they're a little sweet. And you've got a cinnamon stick in there. Yes. Just to give it a little bit of flavor. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have a cinnamon stick, you can just put some cinnamon in there. Yeah. So well, scooped. So you sprinkle the inside with. It's you, a pretty good scoop. It is pretty good. So. <laughs> it's a perfect circle. He's so it's going to be a nice perfect bowl. Scoop it. Oh, so olive oil, salt, and pepper. Right. Lots of olive oil? Or? Just a little. You just kind of want to get it a little moist so that it can... Just kind of all over or just inside? Yep. Go ahead. All, all over. Okay. Just to kind of give it that... It's not for flavor as much right. as it's just to keep it yeah. moist. You're good. Okay. You're good. All right. Salt and pepper. See, this is this is what you taught me. <laughs> Perfect. Up oh, higher, the better it goes. So when you roast them, make sure that they're face down. Okay. Like that. And then pop the that oven? right in the oven. Right. How long? How much? Um, 375 for, like I said, it's, it depends on your, um, uh, or how big the squash is, but right. usually about 30 minutes. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Going so, in. Yep. And <gasps> we have one up here. Yeah. To show you what consistency it's supposed to look like when you pull it out. So this, the skin is okay. You want to leave that on there because it holds, holds it all together so you have a nice bowl. But on the inside. Ooh. And that's a butternut squash. This one is a butternut squash. So we did both because, mm -hmm. one, like I said, that's I love good. butternut squash. I so do too. It's one of my yeah. favorites. Um, you just olive oil, salt, and pepper, brown sugar, and butter. It's great. So you want to make sure that it's soft on the inside. It's very pliable still, mm -hmm. and it'll just kind of come right out of the skin when you eat it because we're going to roast it again. Okay. So if you want, we're going to put this inside of it first. Yep. You're going to go ahead and fill that. All right. Now I do. I want to make sure I get a lot of the juice. Yeah. Why am I always so hungry every time you show up? <laughs> That's oh my a good goodness. thing. It works well. Let's get as much as I can in yep. there. And then you can use some of the juice and put it right over there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking That's about right there. Oh. I wish, I, I say this all the time, I wish y'all could smell Yeah, this. no kidding. So we have some cinnamon, and mm -hmm. then just go ahead and top it with however much or little you like. <laughs> That's, That's okay. <laughs> hey, that one has a lot on it, too. I oh, like okay. Cinnamon. So oh, I got to put some over here, too comes out really fast. Maybe I need to do the high thing here. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So then you put this in the oven. Mm -hmm. You can use the same baking tray that you right. had when you put it in. Okay. And um, it only needs about 15 minutes. So okay. you just kind of want to get the brown sugar caramelized, the um, cinnamon caramelized, and then you want to toast those walnuts. You can use any nuts you like, too. Don't have to use walnuts. I just prefer them with apples. Cool. You can use pecans. Pecan? I was going to say yeah. pecans yeah. are okay. I love pecans. Probably not peanuts. But no peanuts? Probably not yeah. peanuts. Right. So. All okay. Right. So through the magic of our television oven. Yes. This is the greatest thing. I love this thing. I wish I had one at home. <laughs> I'll put that right our there. Our magic oven. Yes. yes. There it is. So this is the other half of the acorn squash. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can add ground turkey if you want to make it a little bit more of like a meal. Or if you're a vegetarian, you can put blue cheese on top. Ooh. You can make this vegan by not using butter. Um, now, again, this is after a uh, uh, half hour-ish. Yes, it does right? take about a half an hour. Okay. So, um, well, this one's been in the oven for about 15 minutes. So, All we'll right. put it right here. 
You guys can dig in. And if you would like this recipe, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to our website, delmarvalife.com, or give us a call, 443-880-9116. You ready, Jimmy? Starts like this. Starts like this, ends and like ends that. Ends like that. <laughs> Actually, it ends with less of it in <laughs> than what was originally in there. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. I hate my job. The things hmm. that we have to do for this TV show. What. Thank you again. You're welcome. For coming back in. Thank you. Yeah? Delicious. And? I'll be talking about this all week. Like an Oh, one of those. Mm -hmm. I see I'm dropping some. Mm-hmm. Good oh, stuff, What do you think? <laughs> this is good wonderful. for Thanksgiving, too. Mm, yeah. yeah. All right. That is wonderful.